It's that week. This Wednesday is Ash Wednesday, which means Tuesday is Mardi Gras, Fat Tuesday. One day to let loose before the 40 days of reflection before Easter. Of course, we're talking Lent. And while Bourbon Street is in New Orleans, it might be where the big party is. If you want to get a little taste of it, you can go ahead and just do that right at Mr. Paul's. And we want to welcome back uh, Chef Tommy Bignon and also bar manager Ainsley Jones from the New Orleans Inspired Supper Club yeah. in Edina. Hey, it's great to have you back. Great to be here. You said you've been busy and everything's yeah. going great. At the Mr. holidays Paul's. are behind us, thank God. Yes. Ski season's over. Yeah. And Almost, so now it's yeah. let, let's party. It's Mardi Gras. We're excited. We got our, yeah, we got our beads going our big on. Day. Yeah. yeah big, okay. Gotta get yeah. beads out. And, and, the, and the origin of New Orleans to Mr. Paul's is your grandfather. My grandfather from Lafayette, Louisiana. But every time I'd go down and visit him, in Cajun country, we'd always make a detour and, you know, college years, it was always hit, hit Mardi Gras, then go visit Grandpa and then come back. So. Well, it is a hopping place. It is awesome. If you haven't checked it out yet, you need to. But today we're going to do two things. We're going to make a gumbo and talk about the uh, importance of how to do that. And we're also going to make some drinks with you, Ainsley. So yeah. looking forward to that. All right. So let's talk about gumbo. All right. Gumbo. To me... When I'm on death row, if I'm ever on death row, my last, I like the if, okay. <laughs> my last meal will be gumbo. This is our family's recipe. I think gumbo, the essence of a good gumbo is a roux. Okay. I mean, you've a dark, dark chocolate roux is the key. Look at that. And how so thick we, that is. we do my our roux, roux slow and low, six hours. You want that good, dark chocolate color. A lot of people will stop at peanut butter, you know, but this is, this is the essence. Okay. And a gumbo should be brothy. It shouldn't be thick. In my family, we would never put tomatoes in a, a gumbo. We never put seafood in a gumbo. We always do hens and sausage. Okay, so chicken so, and sausage. Chicken and sausage. Chicken and this sausage. one in particular is duck. Oh, but okay. My grandfather and grandmother um, used to always use old laying hens because they were hardier old old birds and uh, the bones would just extract this great Oh, gelatinous. I get it. I get it. And that's how you get that beautiful So, roux. but it should be you know, brothy, a little bit of rice. I mean, this is probably more rice than they'd serve down south. They like more the... And do you always have this on your menu, or is this It's because, always on the okay, menu. Okay, so it, it, it should be. But this be. is a quintessential Mardi Gras dish. So right over some rice. And, and then, then do you have it over... Is, is this the same That's here? an etouffee there. Okay. So kind of in the same family. This is tomatoes, crawfish, shrimp. Okay. And then this would be the sausage. In my family, we always serve it with a little... Chilled potato salad on top. On the top? Oh my so gosh. So it's almost like a rayetta in Indian cuisine. It's a cooling effect to the spice in that. Speaking of cooling, let's talk about some drinks. Cooling. Okay. So tell me what you brought and what you're making here. So we brought here a few drinks. Uh, one of our favorite drinks here is our frozen Irish coffee, which is uh, very popular in uh, New Orleans at a bar called the Aaron Rose. Oh. Uh, then we have the Hurricane here, made famous at Pat O'Brien's. And this is just a beautiful gin and tonic, house-made tonic that we do at Mr. Paul's. Look how beautiful that yeah, is. You know, flowers right, and all oh, things. And what do you have here? What We're going to make a Sazerac, which is one of a the Sazerac. oldest. Sazerac. one of the oldest uh, American cocktails, uh, okay, typically. we got to get this shot here. Let's do okay. this shot. All right. All right. Uh, we're going to chill this down with some liquid nitrogen. You're so you want, chilling down the glass. Chilling down the glass. You want okay. a nice cold glass. We're going to spray our Mr. Paul's Miraculous Sazerac Enhancer. Oh, get look at that. Get that nice and cold. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to discard that oh. everywhere. Oh, oh. Then here we are. we got cognac. Rye whiskey, a little fennel peel and silo, and this drink is going to have, you know, a little bit of anise essence to it. We're going to add a little bit more of that spray. and So the glass is serve. so cold you don't even need ice. Don't need ice. Exactly. Oh my gosh, Chris, come on in here. <laughs> this is so cold. You might want to take a sip Chris, of that too. Chris, you're going to want to try you're it. You're uh, going to try I that. I got to do the coffee. All right. Well, thank there. you so much. <laughs> thank and you, you guys. Have a great, do you have any reservations yes. left for Tuesday? We've got bar reservations only, yeah. All right. but come on down. We've got West uh, Bank Social playing live jazz music. From Perfect. 8, 530 it's the place to 830. 8.30. 5.30 to 8.30. It's going to be a party. Mr. Paul's Supper Club, located, of, of course, at 50th and France on Market Street in Edina. And we have a link to this fabulous gumbo and also the hurricane recipe. And we'll be right back.